<laughs> you all remember that four-game win streak that we had? All those runs that we scored? Well, it doesn't matter anymore because we lost the series to the Padres. <sighs> we lose the final game of the series to the San Diego Padres by a score of 3-2. to two. Offense. Once again, dead. Dead as a doornail. Not going to blame this game on Jason Vargas. He was pretty solid for us. He goes five and two-thirds innings. Gives up six hits, two run runs, four, strikes out four. Not blaming this game whatsoever on Jason Vargas. This game, solely on the offense. And maybe Jared Hughes. Maybe. But offense. Four hits. And Gene Segura had two of those hits. And drove in both runs for us. It's just... We scored all those runs during the four-game win streak. So, we all thought that, oh, Charlie Manuel coming in, oh, it sparked this lineup incredibly. I guess we should have expected us to fall flat on our asses with the offense just... Honestly, we just should have expected this. Because once again, the Phillies just threw that rope at us, pulled us back into it when they won those four straight games. And now, with these two losses, they sped us right back out and bring us back to reality. We were all intense hyped over this four-game win streak because we thought it was different. We thought something was going to change. But apparently it hasn't. It hasn't. This ball club is still the exact same. There are still so many flaws with this ball club. The offense is still inconsistent. And our pitching sucks. Even though Jason Vargas gave us a solid outing, pitching pretty much still sucks. Even though this entire game... Majority of it, I'm going to blame it on the offense. Because you only got four hits. And Lachey for the Padres came into this ball game 7-7 seven and seven with an ERA over 4. Like, seriously, how do you not hit these guys that have an over 4 ERA? Just how do you not hit them? I don't get it. With te- What is with the Phillies and teams that are below 500? Cannot hit their pitching whatsoever. You can throw in a guy off of Broad Street, just some random dude. And he'll no-hit the Phillies. Because we just can't hit these guys. We just, we cannot hit guys that have an ERA over 4. Even over 5, possibly. Oh, we can hit we can hit the guys that have a 2 ERA, but no, we can't hit the guys that suck. Apparently. I just... I, I don't have any words. I don't. I don't. And Bryce Harper came out of this ballgame early. It was very unexpected. No, no one knew why Harper was coming out of this ballgame. The trainer and Gabe Kapler, they were talking to each other in the dugout. Sooner or later, you saw Gabe Kapler come out to the home plate umpire with with the lineup card, changing the lineup a little bit, bringing out Adam Hazley to replace Bryce Harper in right field. I'm like, what, 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 what's happening? What, what happened to Bryce Harper? What happened to Bryce Harper? And then you, then you had all the speculation with the broadcast booth. That last night, he was feeling a little bit of pain in his back. He, you showed him last night stretching in the dugout, stretch, stretching out his back a little bit. So maybe it could be something... St- Maybe something stored there, being, feeling a little bit of discomfort. Or there was other people on Twitter speculating that Bryce Harper's wife was expecting his ch- was expecting the child because she isn't that she could be in labor because they are due to have their their kid this month and maybe it happened today. But it ended up happening on Twitter. Corey Seidman and the broadcast booth they both said that he was dehydrated. He came out of this ballgame because he was dehydrated. What? All that all that nonsense. Because he was dehydrated. I it's just my my question is, how do you become dehydrated? Just aren't aren't you supposed to be drinking water during the ball game? Aren't you supposed to be staying hydrated during the ball game? How do you become dehydrated? Look, I have a cup of water right here. My throats are getting a little dry. There, I just quenched my thirst right there. I don't understand it. How do you become dehydrated? And no, I'm not that pissed off at Bryce Harper for being taken out of this ballgame. I'm not blaming it on him. He's been great lately. I'm not going to blame the entire game on him. Yeah, it sucks that he was taken out of this ballgame, but it's not solely on him. The rest of the offense should have did something. I'm looking at you, Reese Hoskins. Reese Hoskins is just... Can't figure it out. The dude cannot figure it out whatsoever. Once again, goes 0 for 4 in this ball game. He almost had a home run in the 8th inning. Just, just, just barely, bar- barely, 
barely, if it was just a couple more feet, a couple more feet, it would have been over the fence and it would have been tied game. But, you know, God doesn't like Reese Hoskins, apparently. The baseball gods do not like him. And the dude just can't figure it out right now. He's just going through the worst possible of slumps ever at the worst possible time. Ever since the All-Star break, he's batting like under 150, I think. He only has like four home runs, 11 runs batted in. Just, guy isn't getting the job done. And he is struggling big time. This is one of the worst, this is probably the worst slump, slump we have seen Reese Hoskins in in his, in his uh, career here in Philadelphia. This is probably the worst slump he's probably been in. And he has to figure it out. He has to get out of it because we definitely need him going down the stretch because, you know, we're going to be in it till the end. And we need guys like Reese Hoskins, JT Romuto, Bryce Harper, Gene Segura. They can't be doing everything. Reese Hoskins has to chip in at some point. Just hopefully, I don't know, maybe he felt that swing was good enough. Maybe that can spark something. But it just feels like Reese Hoskins just lately, he's just, he's just letting pitches go over the plate or... Whenever he gets those pitches, he swings at them and he just fouls them off. He just gets way too under and fouls them off, pops them up. He's just swinging under the ball a lot lately. And pitchers are going to take advantage of that. They're just going to throw up in the zone to Reese Hoskins. Until he can learn to hit balls up in the zone, pitchers are going to keep doing that to him until he learns to hit them. This, this dude just has to figure it out. Has to figure it out whatsoever. And going back to this ball game. Like I said, Gene Segura was the only person to drive in two runs for the Phillies, and he had two hits. Gets a double in the first inning to drive to drive in Bryce Harper, make it one nothing. And then when the Padres had a 2-1 lead, they get a 2-1 lead from Urias in the top of the fourth inning. He hit a two-run shot to right field, and by barely going out, I mean it barely went out. Like, by this much, barely went out. It literally hit the top of the fence and bounced like 10 rows back in the right field. That's how barely it went out. But still, it's a home run. 2-1 lead for the Padres. But Gene Segura, with Adam Hazley on, in the bottom of the sixth inning, 2-2 count. He gets a double to left center field, which scores Adam Hazley to tie the ball game up. But we have Jared Hughes on the mound. When we took Jason Vargas out of this game in the middle of the fifth inning, no, in the middle of the sixth inning, actually. So we go to the seventh. Hughes is still on the mound. And Austin Hedges comes up. He's 3-for-3 three three at this point. And... What is he doing? An 0-2 count, actually. 0-2 count. Home run to left field. It's just, you, you can't make these things up. You can't write them. They write themselves. When we tie the ball game, the Padres respond right back. They just respond right back. Th and this was an 0-2 count. That's the one thing that bothers me the most. If this was like a 3-1 count, 2-2, 3-0, uh, first pitch even. It pisses me off more that it was an 0-2 count. Because he left the breaking ball just hanging there for Hedges to hit. And some, some, and interestingly, it was Hedges' birthday. And he goes 4-4 four for four in his ball game. So, eh, happy birthday to him. He loves hitting against the Phillies, apparently. He's hitting over 330. So, just another guy in the Major League Baseball that loves to hit against the Phillies. Go figure. But still, it's an 0-2 count. And you leave a hanging breaking ball. Well, not down the middle, but it's there. It's hanging. And it's in the zone for him to hit, and he crushed it out of the ballpark. Just unbelievable. Unbelievable. And once again for the San Diego Padres, bullpen. Can't hit them. They only allowed one hit after Lachey came out of this ballgame. Allowed one hit. I just, I just can't process. It's just like... It's difficult to process this, but still. We should have expected this, honestly. For them to drag us in and then throw us right back out of it. Because this is what the Phillies have done all season. They had like chances to go on a five-game win streak five times and lost all five of them. So, honestly, we should have expected this. From the major offensive outputs that we put in, up in that four-game win streak, we should have expected at least a stretch where the offense goes dead silent. And they're possibly in that stretch right now because the offense has been dead solid for two straight games. Four hits yes four hits today. They like six hits yesterday possibly. And surprising just just blows my mind that we cannot hit the Padres bullpen whatsoever. They gave it up one hit the past two nights to the bullpen. Just, mm. And yeah, the rest of the Phillies bullpen besides Hughes. 
did solid. Morton comes in, Neres comes in, they both do a solid job, but it doesn't really matter because our offense just couldn't do anything. Kirby Yates once again comes into the ninth inning for the Padres. Strikes out the side. Even though we did do put up a couple decent good at bats, Gene Zagura draws a 13 pitch count. Not a 13 pitch at bat. Strikes out. Dickerson strikes out. Gingery strikes out. I'm done being drawn in. I'm telling you right now, I am done being drawn into this ball club. I am not going to believe anything until I see it. Woohoo, four game win streak? Make it a five game win streak. Make it a six game win streak. Do something. Stop drawing us back into this damn thing when you're going to throw us out. Do something different. We all thought this four game win streak was different from the Bryce Harper walk off home run, from JT Ramuto being hot as ever, both of those guys being hot as ever. Just putting an outrageous amount of runs on the board in each of those games. To now the offense going dead silent. And a couple pitchers blowing the ball game for us. We th- I thought it was different. We all thought it was different. But nope. It's just we're pushed right back into reality. And I hate. And we all hate it. So I'm not going to believe anything until I see it. And we got a tough two game series coming up Tuesday and Wednesday. We're off tomorrow. So we got a two-game series coming up against the Boston Red Sox. And yeah, they're not the same team from last year that won the World Series, but they're still dangerous. They have a ton of dangerous hitters in that lineup. They still got a ton, ton of dangerous pitchers in that staff. The Boston Red Sox are nothing to mess with. And the Phillies, they got to be ready for it. We got Aaron Nola on Tuesday. I trust Aaron Nola to go out there and give us a solid outing because he's the only pitcher I trust. And knowing me, I'll say that he'll go up and give 10 runs. Just, just the luck. Huh? So... Oh. Be ready for Boston because we have Boston. Then we got Miami, and we all know how what happened to Miami a lot this season. So they got to be ready for this week. They just have to. If they continue to play this piss poor baseball, I am done with this ball club. Entirely done with them. If something bad happens this week, so what are your thoughts on today's ball game? What are your thoughts on the offense being once again piss poor, not helping Jason Vargas out whatsoever? What are your thoughts on Bryce Harper being dehydrated? And what are your thoughts on going into the Red Sox series? So, don't forget to drop a like, leave a comment, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next video. This team sucks.